I'm just going to do a little rundown of uh, my FPV setup. I'm pretty much uh, good to go. I tried it once with the, on the quadcopter and uh, it was alright, just a little bit of interference and whatnot from in the gymnasium. We uh, took it outside and uh, the uh, the clover leaf and the uh, screw panel worked uh, quite well outside. So I just basically made my own mount for the quick release. Just uh, made a little, a little soft balsa or plywood, I forget now, just uh, into the quick release. So let's see what we can get here. Basically, <coughs> have adjustments if I want to, uh, just like any normal tripod. So basically, it comes down, you get power, and it comes to your video, and your video comes up to your receiver. So I have the, um, the skewer panner wheel on the uh, on the receiver. It's getting kind of warm now because I've had it going for a little while. That's powered by a three cell as well. And we'll come over here to the transmitter. We have the clover leaf. And that's going out of three cell. I'm just using a little 500 milliamp for now and I'm just watching the uh, voltage of it. And so that runs to the Sony Hobby King cheap camera, 16 bucks. And I also have the option to, if I want to, uh, on my uh, GoPro as a live feed, I just unplug that and plug that one in, just the servo lead. Uh, I was having a bit of problems with the, uh, I was having like diagonal lines on the screen I was running the GoPro, but I come to realize that GoPro has its own power, and I had the power in through there, and running from my battery's power, I had it spliced off and going through to the GoPro. Uh, it's fine when you have this because obviously this camera has no power, but when you run into GoPro, it has its own power, and I guess it was uh, too much or whatnot. So I just um, took that wire out and uh, the whole diagonal lines went away. So, problem solved. So I'm just uh, turn it on here. Shine at the wall. So yeah, turned out pretty good. I made this for the block in the sun or whatnot if it's sunny out. So it's basically on this little frame that I made that goes around the monitor out of uh, EPP. Just uh, a couple strips of uh, Velcro. It's not the real strong kind, it's the kind you buy in a roll and it's, it's it's strong but it's easy to tear off but it holds uh, holds pretty good. I use it to uh, hold the GoPro on the quadcopter and uh, I'm surprised how uh, strong it is but very easy to uh, take off. So basically that's just a piece of coroplast. Um, I think it's, I got it 15 inches out, and best thing about Coroplast, you just uh, cut a flute on your angle, and it makes an easy 90 degree angle. So I haven't really got into FPV yet, uh, this is basically the first time, so I tested a little bit there, and uh, seems to work okay. <clears throat> I got one thing though, uh, when I'm running the Sony camera, I have no way to record it. So I know there's a way that you can hook it up to your camcorder. Uh, my camcorder came with the jack that goes into the camera itself, and then it has a your normal audio, video, and uh, power. So I'm wondering. I tried to hook it up, but I couldn't see what the camera was seeing through this camcorder. So I'm not sure, all I did, I, obviously I did it wrong, but this, I plugged it into the video 2, spare one here, I'm on video 1 now for the monitor, I ran it from video 2 up to this, up to the camcorder, but it didn't work, so I'm not sure if I need an, uh, an extension, and 
of that coming from the camera to the extension and then on your um, receiver plug it into your audio video out the other one that's not in use so basically I need to find need to get another another jack that fits that and comes down and I guess I can hook it into this to the camera so if that's right you let me know if it's wrong let me know because I'm trying to figure it out <laughs> so yeah well that's it so far and we're just waiting for the weather to uh, warm up a bit so we can get out and try it out anyways thanks for watching and uh, leave any feedback or any any uh, suggestions about how I'm supposed to do that but that seems like the logical way to do it so anyways signing out